this is what I look like these. Hi. So this is what I look like these days when I get in from running errands. So I thought I would make, hopefully, a slightly helpful video. <laughs> I'm cracking myself up with a mask on. Uh, hopefully a helpful video on um, use of mask and use of, these are nitrile disposable gloves. Because um, I was noticing some morning television today. And today is Thursday, May 14th. Hello. Good, good mid-May to you. And um, so I saw on some morning television a talk show host saying something about, to her expert guest about, you know, well, I bought these surgical gloves and I don't think I should be using them because I found out that you can use them wrong and it can actually make things worse. And her expert guest said, yes, I mean, regular people really shouldn't be walking around wearing latex surgical gloves and I thought what kind of expert is this because no one is walking around wearing surgical latex gloves because millions of people are deathly allergic to latex so that's like strike one against her expert guest or guest expert or whatever she was because um as I said I call these nitrile because that's what they are it's n-i-t-r-i-l-e so if you're looking for them online that's how to spell it um, you'll see them in this purplish color, sort of a subtle indigo-y bluish purple. You'll also see them in a bright sort of turquoise blue. It's maybe a good way of putting it. I don't know, somewhere between. Just like a, like a true blue that's a little bit on the side of turquoise. And, you know, they run in small, medium, and large. These are mediums, and I'm a women's large. I have pretty big hands. This is my face. This is my giant hand and um yeah so <laughs> they um media they're non-gender specific so um yeah the medium are good for me and like I said I'm a women's large or a seven and a half if you're if you buy your gloves in a numerical size um like leather winter winter gloves or whatever they're fitted so um yeah, okay, so I wanted to give a little bit of, like, a tutorial on the whole. I, like, uh, I don't really love having a mask on, but I live in New York, in the state of New York, and it's the law here by order of the governor. I think it was extended till June 6th, and it's May 14th right now. It might be extended again. We don't know. So, you know, stuck with them for, for now. And for me, the, um, the little metal piece that comes in here that you bend I finally I got it just right while I was out running errands today <laughs> and so I thought oh my god I have to make a video when I get back before I even do anything else other than put my ice cream away so I cheated and I already put my ice cream away because I can't have my ice cream melting for a tutorial video <laughs> for any other reason so that's already been put away um, otherwise this is an authentic enactment and not even a reenactment because I did just get home from running errands and I thought this would be a great time to do this potentially helpful for some people type of real person to real person. This is me wearing a mask and gloves type of video with my own personal tips and insights on how to do it, make it a little more comfortable and, um, and how to use the gloves in a way that maximizes, you know, their protection for you and doesn't make them a liability or a problem for you. Like they were talking about on the show that I was, flipping through and saw on passing this morning. So um, they were talking about how, you know, if you take them off wrong, you know, you actually make it, you make it things worse than if you never wore them at all. And the woman said, you know, yes, because if you put the gloves on and you handle all the things at the store and handle money and whatever, and then you handle your keys and your, you know, house doorknob and whatever, 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 then it's like, and then you take the gloves off and you handle those things barehanded, then, you know, you defeated the whole purpose. So, it, you know, with regards to that, she's right. So you can just kind of have a policy of like, okay, I'm wearing gloves this week. And so I'm handling my car keys with gloves, which means um, I'll do that for a week. And then if you're done with gloves because they say, oh, you know, things are getting better. It's not as difficult or you decide you're going to go more with hand sanitizer than gloves because it's finally finally available in a store for, or online for you to purchase again, then you just need to take a minute and think of all the things like your steering wheel, 
your car keys, your house key, whatever, and clean it up with sanitizer. And then you go gloveless again. But right now, I haven't had sanitizer available in stores or online since like February. So sorry I sound a little weird, but I'm super hot with this mask on because it's kind of mild weather here and I still have my jacket on. Okay, let me get to this sort of helpful hint so I don't sweat to death, oh, which I'm on my way to doing right now. <sighs> Melting. Okay, so the thing about this is kind of a standard paper fiber filter, whatever they call them. I'm trying to center the fold. I'm getting my left and right and right and left mixed up because it's not a mirror, it's on camera. So, okay. So this is a typical disposable surgical mask. It has this little piece of metal in here. You start out before you put it on by folding it approximately in the middle and then loop, put each loop around each ear and then expand the whole thing top to bottom because it comes it comes about this high and these pleats are all, everything's flat and it's all folded up. And so you want to fold this, fold it here first and then put each loop around your ear and then really quickly psh, when, with your clean hands. I think it's best to do it when you're at home and then just drive with it on because if you keep it in your car and then you're shopping and you're handling all this stuff and you're handling your, the money and then you're, putting this thing on your face. That's where the experts get into saying, you know, it actually becomes a detriment. Like it's actually a bad thing to use masks because you're touching your face and it's like, so just, just put it on before you leave, you know, like, like you put on your shoes and then leave it on, run all your errands, get back, get inside, take your gloves off, take your mask off. That's what I recommend. Okay. So yeah. So see, I have the bottom has a white line on it as well. Like the top does. It's not as thick on the bottom. It doesn't have metal on it, so you know which is top and which is bottom. That goes just under your chin. And the top, I try to like go back and forth with a metal piece and center the the little handmade fold in the in the metal that holds attention so it doesn't like close line my nose, the bridge of my nose too much. And then you get it pretty nice. You just you just unfold it. You get the sticky outy part of your nose right there. Try to make it as comfortable as possible and there you have it and then with the gloves so this is a pair of these medium size nitrile disposable gloves they're very thin and so you can kind of feel everything but they say they're pretty sorry this is so sweaty this hand that I had it on all this time and so they say it's really good protection even though it's so thin so that's kind of a nice combination because you can you can feel the texture of things and everything it almost feels like it's not really much, but they're supposed to be, I mean, surgeons wear them, nurses and doctors around bloody things. So they're pretty much impervious. They're, you know, they don't use latex anymore, like I said, in, you know, medical care situations because, because of the dangerous latex allergies, stuff like that. Such like that, as I like to say after Miss South Carolina of 2006 or whatever that was. Um, so, okay, so you have your gloves on and you're driving, driving, <laughs> and you're shopping, and then, you know, you're paying, and or you're paying, or your chip card pay, and then, you know, you drive and you get home, and then you still have your gloves on. Now, the thing about taking them off is that they're right about taking them off. You can take them off wrong, because if you take the first one off, I'll take the non-sweaty off one first. I pull out, pull out the fingertips, and then I pull it off. If you take this one off first, and then, and then you take this bare hand, and you go to take the other one off the same way, you really defeated the whole purpose of wearing them at all. Because, you know, this is your bare hand that you've been trying to protect, and then the outside of this has touched everything that you're trying to protect it from. So that's where they're correct about, you know, it defeating the purpose or being worse than not wearing them. I mean, it's not worse than not wearing them all because then you would have, you would have picked up everything up. It's the same as not wearing them, at, you know, at all. So, <laughs> so don't do that. Take off the first one, pretty much the way that I showed, which is like by the fingertips, which is, you know, you can only do if you have both gloves on. You can only do it with a gloved hand. And then one way, the way that you're technically supposed to take both of them off is by pulling them off here out. See, because 
that way you don't you're not with your bare hand touching the dirty part but um I think it's a lot more common sense based than that and it's up to you how you want to take them out off if you just remember skin clean inside of glove clean this side outside of glove not not clean so I think it's really up to you um, if you take off the first one and throw it down like I did you're really left no other option you got to take off the second one like this the problem about this is that it's gonna roll like this and it's gonna be harder to put it back on because it's gonna this is like surgeons take it off like this they continue this it rolls completely inside out they throw it in a bin because it's garbage to them but for us normal people who maybe don't have boxes and boxes of them um, and we want to reuse them there's a different way so I'm gonna go backwards a little um, so yeah if I was throwing these out I would have just continued how I started to take these off pulling them from the inside and rolling them you know you see it on like if you ever watched ER back in the day or whatever and they just and it's it becomes like a you know like a sock that you take off it comes sort of like a flat circle it's just garbage because that's it's all rolled up and it's used and stuff and it's not really that easy to put back on after that so I'm gonna go backwards and show what I think is a pretty decent technique for this left hand is so sweaty I'm like panting for being so warm but um you'll forgive me please I'm trying to help I don't know if I can help just one person figure out how to navigate the glove and the mask world Ugh, just in case this stuff is here to stay okay so I have them both back on again now what I think is a good way if you're going to use them again is is oh gosh sorry this is so sweaty go at both <laughs> go at I'm like negotiate the sweaty one and you will you'll this is what will happen to you because it's like you see people at subway for years making you sandwiches and those the gloves are as soon as these synthetic gloves are in your hands for a moment you start sweating in them because there's no breathability because they really are you know impermeable which is good for protection but the sweat factor is significant um so you just do do them both like this this is how I save them for later and then kind of keep see this is still I still have my the inside of still have my hand I'm touching the inside only of this glove and then I'm pulling off the other glove with the outside that's just oh sorry I'll do it more clearly I just have like the just my fingers only left in this glove just like take turns at each one pulling each one off then when they're both like this you can just lay them down and they're nice and flat and open and not rolled up in a in a ring and you can save them for later and reuse them so that's that's what I think that's what I do because and then again with a non sweaty one <laughs> the one that hasn't been on for like an hour I'll review how they tech the way that you're supposed to if you have the luxury of throwing them out or if you don't so much but you're like I've used these I've used these a few times they don't I don't owe them anything as my grandmother used to say <laughs> um, and it's I'm due I'm gonna move on to my next pair and you've rationed you've you know you have 50 pair and you're gonna use them one pair every four days or whatever you're gonna do then then you just can go straight for the you know like I said pull the take the first glove off I think pulling by the fingertips one with the gloved hand only is okay and then once that hand is bare you get the second one and you just you know you can just pull it like that and then it becomes inverted in this trash um, and technically you can take both you can take both ones off like that you got to get the I don't know how you would get the first because you don't ever want to put the gloved hand in, in between your hand and the glove so I think doing the first one by pulling the fingers off and then the second one basically however you want like the the surgeon's way where you where you roll it off by putting your clean skin hand in between the glove and finger or by taking the one you've already taken off and having it just on your fingertips and and pulling the two off that way okay I think as long as I mean you're all thinking adults I, I've marked that this video this channel is not for children and these videos are not for children 
So um, just take your own common sense approach to it. And um, and as long as you remember, uh, my screen has gone into sleep mode. As long as you remember the basic, sorry, parameters of, you know, outside of the glove is what's protecting you. Inside of the glove is what's clean. So your skin goes touches the inside of the glove and outside of the glove touches the world and and other outside of, the outside of the other glove only then you're good you're not really going to get yourself into so much trouble that this talk show host was saying <laughs> you would get into like it's for surgeons only so okay so then this is oh my face this is the kind of it's really me it's not oh, sorry i'm all kind of red and puffy from having that on way too long this is the kind of mask I was talking about. This, I should, I should like sell this except only to myself because it's molded perfectly to my ace, wildly asymmetrical face only. So this is the kind I bought. You can see where the accordion folds are and how it's like it, when it comes in the box, they're flat and they're about this high. And then you, you then this piece of metal it stays like that. And then you pull it up and you do one ear and the other ear and then I close my eyes because I never it's not gonna land right while you're just focusing on getting your, the loops around your ears and then make sure it goes just a bit over your chin just so to stabilize it really and because I think the basic principle is to keep the whole thing sanitary it's good to have it go around your chin in terms of I mean it doesn't make a seal around your mouth but in terms of these are technically called filter masks, so British people I know call them filter masks. <laughs> I mean, they're not like N95 or anything. They're just disposable fiber, paper fiber, whatever the brand calls them. They don't usually say much. Uh, disposable surgical masks. So, um, yeah. So that's that. I think this is, I think it's not so bad. I hope it's not too condescending that I'm getting kind of, totally basic tips on how to wear these because you know it's a little intimidating when you first get them you take it out and it's this it's like well it's like this high wait <laughs> left hand right hand <laughs> I'll just look at them in real life instead of on the screen it's like this high and flat blue paper and with these folds and you're like how oh, is this fitting my face you know so and I've seen people where this is like this and I've seen people where this is like this and they can't figure out why it keeps writing up into their eyes and it's like I did that at first admittedly and I mean not that bad I exaggerated it just now and I was like oh okay I have to go under my giant pointy chin and then um yeah so okay I hope any and all of these tips were helpful I was like maybe gonna do a rendition of more than words which came on FM radio in my car <laughs> I had to stop and sing along to it by myself in my car before I went into the store with my mask on and it was just um I don't know this is a little bit better of a fit back when I was in my car this had ridden up which happens so try to resist reaching for it to adjust it um I always take a second and um if I can stop driving take one glove off like I showed you I do and then go like that but don't don't take your gloved hands and if you're wearing gloves and and poke them in there poke your fingers in there and um also don't if you're not wearing gloves and you're doing sanitizer or hand washing and you're out and you've already handled money you know just just don't i like uh when this rides up too much you can go <laughs> well that's too much you can open your mouth you know which pulls it down lower on your chin that's a good tip i think that's a half decent tip you know or if you're doing not if you're like I said, if you're doing gloves, it's easy because you can take the gloves off and then your hands are fresh and clean underneath. You can adjust it, put the glove back on, start driving again. And if you, um, sorry, I just like sweat through <laughs> myself in my hair. And if you, um, if you're not doing gloves and you're doing the protocol where it's like sanitizer or soap once you get home, or I guess some people have been lucky enough to have sanitizer in, with them in their car all this time have been doing sanitizer well if you're if you can't my point is if you're out and you're in your car or at a store and your mask is tugging at you and you cannot 
sanitize your hands before you feel like you really need to adjust it. Um, you might want to do a thing where when you leave your house, you decide, <laughs> this is going to sound really silly, but it's kind of practical. Um, like I'm not going to, because you don't have to use your pinkies, like for example, when you handle money and stuff. And you just kind of make a concerted effort, let's see, to keep them clean and then and go like this. You know what I mean? But I don't know. I don't know if you can really say, like, I know that I didn't. I think it's, I don't know. I never seem to touch my pink. I have like an English tea drinking way of handling life. So <laughs> this does not apply to you, and it's way too complicated to think when you leave the house, I'm not going to touch my pinkies when I, to the money, when I handle it or to whatever, and then forget that tip. But yeah, if you can, you know, I mean, it just depends on your level of awareness of your environs and your actions and stuff that you can say, you know, I totally haven't, these are clean. I'm going to do this, you know, but definitely better safe than sorry. And so I'm going to take this off now since my hands have been clean under Oh, I'm so puffy. <laughs> really. I was so red the first time I wore these, but I think I'm getting more used to them, or maybe it's because I took them out of the wrapper and they've gotten a little bit of air where I live instead of just being um, super sort of against each other and in the plastic wrapper from when they got shipped to me. And um, so, yeah, anyway, I hope any of this take off my jacket and stay a while was super or at all uh sorry was at all helpful and um okay maybe i won't take this off god I'm like a drowned rat really looked like something that <clears throat> they found at the bottom of the titanic okay so <laughs> last pro tip go ahead and and maybe don't you know try to like take spontaneously take your jacket off on camera just come in from running errands and doing a 20 something minute video about wearing a mask and gloves during which you've worn both for that time and sweat through your hair. Okay. So I hope this was at all helpful. I think I'm supposed to say things like subscribe and like this video. I don't know. I'm not good at any of that, but, um, yeah, I just thought while I was out, maybe, you know, in light of the, how overcomplicated it seemed to be becoming from the mouthpiece of TV personalities and whatnot, that I would just go, you know, this, this went relatively smoothly for me. Like it has all of these times before since, I don't know what it was a month ago in New York state, a little more earlier in April than mid April. I'm not really sure what the date was that we had to start. I feel like the, Friday night, the first Friday night of April, maybe, uh, per Governor Cuomo. But, um, yeah, this it's we don't need to overcomplicate it. I'm sorry if I did overcomplicate it. Just take whatever works for you and leave the rest. Maybe I'll get a new laptop someday or start filming. I don't want to start filming these with a phone because the laptop is so convenient how the frame is fixed and everything for me and I don't have to hold it, but I'm really not planning. On, I'm not, not going to pretend I'm planning on getting a laptop, new laptop anytime soon to um, very strictly dabble at YouTube videos. So I do apologize for any delay and disconnect between the audio and the video and the fact that this is four, three aspect ratio, if I'm not mistaken, instead of 16, nine. Mm, God, I also haven't brushed my teeth since I ate my McDonald's Big Mac combo meal and mocha frappe and then ran out to do errands. So <sighs> sorry if my lips are sticking to my teeth a little. Okay, you know what? I should turn this off before I decide that this is it and I have to like cut my head off and get a new one. Um, okay, so uh, this has I am this channel is <laughs> local honey raw. Yes, very raw very raw. I'm like mess in the background raw. I'm like, don't, don't watch this again, just to get a better look at that. Now that I, I know I should have pointed it out, but seriously. Um, yeah. 